What is going on guys? Welcome back. In this video today, we're going to learn how to annotate images for machine learning tasks using Google's Vision API. So let us get right into it. All right, so image annotation is a very useful thing in machine learning because it essentially allows us to enhance our existing data set. So for example, you might have a data set consisting of many, many different images, and you want to use these images to train a text to image generation model. This would be one use case. Now you only have the images, but you need to also have some text description of the images to train a model to generate images from text. So what you can do is you can use annotation to uh, find certain objects to label the images to annotate the images. And then you can use this data set, this new data set that you create by doing that in order to train a generative AI model, for example, this is one use case. So for this video today, we're going to keep it simple. We have three images, a car, we have a landscape, and we have some food here. Uh, and those are the images that we're going to annotate using Google's uh, vision API. And for this, we're going to create a new Python file, main py. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to go to the Google Cloud console and we're going to create a new project. So you go to console.cloud.google.com and then you just create a new project up here and you can call it whatever you want. I'm going to call it now neural nine vision project. And then you can just click on create. Once the project is created, we need to enable the Google Vision API. Um, and for that, just wait for the project to finish, select the project so that we are working in this project. And then we're going to just uh, look for vision here. And what we want to use is the cloud vision API, this one here. Uh, I'm not entirely sure, by the way, if you need to have billing enabled uh, for this particular API, um, I already used this for quite a bit of images, and I wasn't charged anything. I don't know if that is uh, some mistake or some a special trial that I'm using or something, but uh, maybe you will have to set up some payment. Uh, but for me, it was free up until this point. So maybe it is free for you as well. Uh, when you have this cloud vision API enabled, what you want to do is you want to create credentials because in order to use this API, you need to log into this uh, API using a key. So what we want to do here now is we want to click on create credentials up here. And we want to create a new uh, what's the problem here, try again. Okay, it seems like it was buggy for a second, we need to click again on create credentials, then it's going to take us to this screen here, here, we're going to choose the cloud vision API, we're going to click on application data, we're going to click on next. And then basically, we have to just uh, create a service account, let's call this one neural nine vision service, you can call this whatever you want, create and continue, the rest is going to be left at default values, I'm going to click done here. And what we need to do then is we need to go to credentials, we need to go to the service here. Um, and then we need to generate a key. So we need to go to keys. And we need to say add key, create new key. And then we use the JSON format, this is what we want to download and use. So we click on create. And this is going to download a JSON file. And for that, I'm going to store this at programming neural nine Python current which is my working directory. And this is now my authentication key. This is what I'm going to use to log into the Google Vision API. Now, in addition to that, we're going to need to install a Python package, which is going to allow us to do that. So we're going to use the command line and pip or pip three to install Google dash vision, or actually, sorry, Google dash cloud dash vision. And this is going to install the toolkit that's necessary for this video today. And what we can do now is we can go to the Google Vision API. Um, actually, let's just use Google for this Google Vision API. And then we can go to the documentation cloud vision documentation, then we go to more, you will find a link to this in the description down below. And we want to go to detect labels. And here we already have some code that we can copy, all we have to do is we have to scroll down a, a bit. And this is actually the function that we're going to use to do the actual annotation. So we're going to copy the code sample, we're going to go into our IDE, we're going to paste it here. Now you can see that the import of Google Cloud Vision already happens here in the function, we don't need to do anything. Actually, the only thing that we need to do now is we need to say print, and then then detect labels and one dot JPEG, for example, and then we can copy that. And we can do that for two dot JPEG and three dot JPEG. And when I run this now, uh, of course, we're not going to see anything because we need to first of all, 
assign our key here. And how we do that is using an environment variable. So we're going to import OS and then we're going to say OS environment. So OS environment. And then we're going to use the key called Google underscore application underscore credentials. And we're going to set this to the path of our uh, file here. So for this, I'm going to copy the file name here. And I'm going to say the full path here, the absolute path home, neural nine uh, documents. Then I think it was programming, then I think it was neural nine, then I think it was Python. And then I think it was current. And then I think it was the file name. There you go. So that is our authentication, run this. And there you go, you can see we get the labels. So for the first image here, we get clouds, vehicle, car, sky, plant, hood, uh, automotive, lighting, uh, tree, automotive design, motor ve vehicle and none. Then for the second image, which is the landscape, we get cloud, water, sky, water resources, atmosphere, daytime, mountain, Asia, uh, natural landscape, plant, and so on. And then for the last one, we get food, tableware, plant, ingredient, natural foods, recipe, fine, fine herbs, cuisine, uh, leaf, vegetable, dish, and so on. So yeah, I mean, it doesn't say carrot and raspberry, but I think it's fine. Um, those are the annotations. Now, of course, this can be combined now with other annotation methods. So first of all, you can do some manual annotation, you can use different models, you can combine the annotations, the more specific data you have, the more specific descriptions of the images you have, the better. You can also, of course, use something like uh, large language models to do that. But this is a simple way. And as far as I understand, uh, at least for a certain number of images, it seems to be free, even though I'm not entirely sure about that. But this is how you can easily annotate your images using Google's Cloud Vision API. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.